Hi everybody, welcome back to Pilates. I'm Christine and today I have a special request from you. I'm really missing my props. You know, when we're in person we use balls and bands and the magic circle. So we are going to use a home prop today and I have a towel, just a, this is a microfiber cloth like for cleaning. If you have a dish towel, that's perfect. If you have a microfiber cleaning cloth like this, you can use that. Uh, or even roll up a t-shirt. I just need you to be able to create a roll like this. So you can pause, go find one. And then when you are ready, you roll it up to a long roll like this and we'll get started. So when you're ready, start with me, cross legs, towel in both hands. Inhale, reach up to the ceiling. Big stretch, open the shoulders. Exhale, lower the towel down. Inhale up. Lifting out of that spine, exhale, lower the hands down. Inhale, sit tall. Feel the stretch all the way up to the top of your head. Exhale, lower one more. Inhale, up. And exhale, lower halfway. Rotate over one leg. Feel the twist through the rib cage, guiding yourself with the assistance of the towel. Wrap it around to the other side. Using the back arm, exhale around to give you some extra pull around, really wrapping, wringing out that spine. Watch the shoulders, make sure they're staying away from the ears. When you complete the next one, inhale, arms overhead again, inside tilt, over, Keep the sit bone attached to the floor. Exhale up, shoulders relax. Inhale over. Stretch out one side of the rib cage. Exhale up, tilt again. First side over. Exhale, sit tall. Inhale over. And exhale, sit tall. Let's do a big circle around. Bring the opposite wrist over to the knee. Circle through the bottom, around, and up to the top. Final warm-up stretch. While we go through a whole series to start take advantage of the towel. This is so great if you're feeling tight or just like stressed and you need something easy to move. This is the perfect thing to do for a few minutes. Let's pause at the top and reverse your circle. Starting a little different, but same action. It's over, wrist to the opposite knee, wrap it around, reach it up, and twist. Down, around, exhale up two more times, twist. Lower, wrap around the bottom, reach up tall, complete one more circle, twist, lower, wrap it around, and reach it up. Finish with a big inhalation, biggest stretch, sitting so tall now, and lower down. Let's go into abs warm up, rolling to the floor, keeping the towel between your hands and just hold it above your head so the wrists are above the shoulders. Let's find tabletop, knees over the hips, stretch one foot out for a kick, exhale back in, other foot stretches out, single leg kick, tuck in, go eight, 
seven, six, five. Monitor the tummy, pulling the belly button in, keeping space between the low back and the mat. Here's two, one. Now add in some arms. Reach one foot out to the single leg kick. Arms come over the head, almost touching the floor. Then tuck it back in, tap the towel to the knee and reach again. So stay on the same side, single leg reach with the arms overhead, away. Exhale in, gradually increasing the intensity and the coordination with each move that we add on to this series. Go four, exhale up, three, two, one. Pause in the center, check the wrists over shoulders, knees over hips. Switch sides, kick the leg out, reach the arms overhead, find your range. Exhale, tuck in, tap the towel to the knee. Inhale, reach up for eight. And seven. Exhale in, six. Five. Four. Is the top knee so still? And did it remain at 90 degrees? Two. And one. Exhale up to the beginning position. Now, knees and ankles glue together. Double toe top down. Exhale up, that's your legs. Just a double toe top to the floor and right back to tabletop. The arms will pull elbows out to the side like you're trying to pull that towel apart and reach up. Tap down, keep your neutral spine. Only moving the legs in the hip sockets. Pelvis stays still. Inhale, tap and stretch. Exhale, control up. Six more. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Press it up. Lower the feet down. Bring the arms overhead again, going into abdominal curls with a big arm wave. So it's exhale, reach the arms up. Once the wrists are over the shoulders, begin to curl the chin, roll up head, neck, and shoulders. How about we tap the top of the thighs? Maybe you can reach all the way up to the knees and inhale back down. Exhale, curl up, flatten out the tummy. Inhale, release back. Exhale up. Tap. Inhale back. Reach. As you come up and tap, that encourages you to squeeze out. Extra work at the top, really pushing yourself into your maximum curl. Feel the shoulder blades lift. Feel yourself roll through the ribs and maybe you can get all the way to that bottom rib. With your curl in control, four more. Tap, exhale up, three. And two. One more time, big reach overhead. Controlled curl up, tap to squeeze, release arms overhead. Let's bring the towel behind you. So make a hammock for your head. I should be able to just put light pressure into it. 
I don't want to be yanking. Don't yank on your head. It's only there for awareness and a little bit of support. Let's march and curl right here. Curl straight up and down. One knee marches in and lower. No pulling, lifting and supporting only. March, release. These are quicker tempo to get through this set for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, how about obliques? And I'll keep the legs the same, so not too much to change here. Just with the march, bring the opposite elbow over. So you can use the feedback here of the towel to the other side to make sure you're actually turning your head where it wants to go. So look where you're going and your head will follow. You shouldn't feel more pressure on one side of the ear or the side of the head that's touching the towel. It should stay even. Across, release. A little arm work here. Not used to holding your arms up so much, so I understand if they're slightly tired. Reach and release. Across, release. For six, five, four, three, two, and one, release down. Let the towel come out from the head and bring it to behind you, so underneath you. We're going into bridges, and I want you to stretch those arms out and lower down. Um, if you, I have a long torso, so my towel can barely go underneath there. Usually people's arms are longer than mine, so assuming you should be able to get that towel under there, even if you have a long torso like me. If not, you can just put it aside. You don't need it for this exercise. You can do it with only your body. Roll up, curl the tailbone, articulate one vertebrae at a time into your bridge. Leave the towel on the floor for the first two. Roll back down. Exhale up one more. Like the first one, find the top, toes connected, heels pressed into the ground, peel back down. Now we try an extra step, roll up to the top, hold it at the top, bring the towel up, tap behind the thighs, lower down. Exhale up, quick tap and down, reach. Release, it's a good way for me to get you to hold that bridge up there. It's like we're doing a plank, but we're doing a bridge. Go, four, three, two, one. Lower the hands, lower the body. How about we try another challenge? Roll up, hold one foot up. Can you do the lifts here? One foot in the air, we tap up. Let's do six, five, four. Keep squeezing that glute, three. Oh, I'm glad we're doing six. This is hard, two, and one. Lower hands, lower the foot, lower the body. Take one breath oh, to recenter. And when you are ready with your next exhale, roll up 
into your bridge. Float the other leg up. Complete the series. Six taps up and down. Two. Three. Keep squeezing. Four. Five. Six. Lower the hands. Lower the foot. Lower the hips. Okay. Bring your towel back around. Let's do a very similar one building off of our first progression to finish this ab series. Lots of good abs with the towel today. Double leg stretch out. Arms reach out, legs reach out. Exhale in. Big stretch away from the center. Exhale, tuck the knees. Reach the hands over, touch the towel to the shin. Reaching out. Exhale in. Inhale out. Exhale in. Two more out. In. One more out. And in. Towel comes behind the knees right at the bottom of the thighs. We're rolling up. You can switch your grip so the thumbs are on top. Tuck the knees in, inhaling. Exhale, squeeze the glutes and roll up. That was a good supported roll up, wasn't it? Let's try rolling like the ball from the same position. So my fingers are wrapped over the front of the towel. My thumbs are up, my elbows are tucked to the side. I hover my feet off the ground, knees and ankles squeezed together. Keep yourself curled into your C curve. You're like a little hedgehog in a ball here. Roll back, exhale up. Did you stick it? Mine was good, I have no complaints. Let's try it again. Roll back, exhale up. Try not to touch your head to the mat. Roll back to the shoulders, exhale up. That's what I mean by curling into that ball. Inhale back, exhale up. You only travel between the tailbone and the shoulder blades. Three more. Back and up. Feel each vertebrae roll and up. Two, or that was two. One more, <laughs> exhale up. And tap the feet. Oh, that has to be one of the most fun ways to roll like a ball. How about side series? And I know we did kneeling side series last time. I also like to do the kneeling side series with the towel, so not as long as last time, but we will do a quick side series so we can get to planks and back work, towels overhead. You'll see why I love it so much because you can tilt over with the arms staying where they need to stay in the letter Y. Over. Exhale up. Do you do this one with me in person with the TheraBand? I love doing it. You can add in all sorts of rows here and pulls and pushes and twists. On the next one, hold it at the top. We can bring the wrists down hands in front of the shoulders, and twist over the bent knee. Good stretch for that inner thigh. Back to the center. Exhale, twist around, around, around. Return to center. Two more twists. Around, around, and center. 
One more, exhale, twist, twist, squeeze, and center. Bring your arms overhead again. We can tilt, two, three, exhale, up, two, three, twist, but this time, twist with this reach down, and up. So slight change with the twist to make it smooth for the combo of the tilt and the twist. Over, over, up, up, lower the arms, twist, and reach up. We'll do one more, just want to keep it shorter here and away away exhale up up lower the hands switch the feet if your knee is crying that the floor is too hard roll your mat up make a cushion arms up one more time tilt over lifting up out of the hip Reaching over to the side, exhale, reach back to the ceiling. Ooh, relax those shoulders. Get them out of the ears. Play with your range of motion. Without the towel, this is much harder. With the towel, notice how far you can bend over. That's why we don't need to do too much here, because you can get into the big range Push those muscles to their limit. Find that oblique strength. You will really feel it right here on that closing side as you come up. One more. Over, over, over. Exhale up, up, up. Lower the hands to shoulder height. Twist away from the long leg to the center, one side is going to feel different than the other side for your twists. Monitor your uh, self. Let's do a little body scan from the head. Are you looking where you need to go? Then the shoulders follow, they're relaxed. One more time, hands stay at armpit or shoulder height and the hips stay still, reach up, add it together, tilt over, two, three, exhale up, two, three, keep the Y shape as you lower the hands, twist, and look at that back foot, reach up to the ceiling, tilt, 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 exhale up, 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 lower the hands, follow with the body, twisting around, reach up, tilt, two, three, up, two, three, relax the shoulders as you lower, and twist, one more time, reach up, inhale to the ceiling, and over, Big stretch up, two, three, final twist across, two, three, and back up, two, three. Good, we even got into those back muscles, keeping our arms where they were, using the towel, so if you felt it like all through the whole torso, front, side, back, then that's good. We got a little glutes in there. Let's get some more glutes in. Put the towel to the side. Sometimes it's fun to use it as a, a glider, sliding it on the floor, but if you're on carpet, that won't work. So I will give us a regular body weight set here. 
Opposite arm and leg reach away from each other. Lift up, hold it. You know I like to find the balance first. It's good to practice some stability. Switch sides. Opposite arm and leg out. Reach up. Check that you don't put too much pressure in your wrist. The hip with the extended leg isn't falling down or opening up. Pelvis is flat, in line, lower down. Let's do, let's do the bird dog. So find your first side. That's where we tuck the elbow to the knee. Switch it out, lower down. We'll do one side to the other. Stretch out, lift, knee taps to elbow. Reach, lower down. Lots of transitions here. Keep each component separate from the other. So we tap, hit the reach, hit the tuck, stick it on the reach, Tap it down, pull it in. No cheating through any part of the motion. If you are posing for a magazine, you would see the tap, then a snip, pat, snap a picture at the reach, at the tap, at the reach, and the tap. Switch, other side, reach, lift, tuck and tap reach down one more on each side stretch lift curl and tuck stretch tap and one more reach lift tap reach tap and in lower yourself down oh well it's plank i almost skipped planks Walk the knees back, hands forward, lower the hips for half plank. I will only do one front plank today. Up to the toes for full plank and hold with me for 35 more seconds. So we can do, uh, let's do like a 45 second plank. So here, we'll do 30 more seconds. Feel those tummy muscles turn on. Reach the tailbone towards the feet. Rib cage pushes up out of the shoulders, so no sagging hips, no sagging ribs. We're pushed up. Don't lose the head. Keep the chin up. Look right in front of you. And one more second, lower the knees down if you are extended. Quick press back for five seconds, child's pose. Time for one deep breath in. Exhale out, lifting the body and lower yourself down to the floor. We can do one more towel exercise here as we complete a class with your back work. Hands on either end of the towel. Opposite arm and leg reach up, lower down. Swimming one side to the other side. My hands are wide because of the width of the towel, but keep the legs close together. So I'm not out here with the legs. I'm zipped through those inner thighs. It's harder, you can't lift the leg as high, I realize, but you get way better coordination and activation between the glutes and the inner thighs, a very important relationship here. Once I bring my legs out to the side, I lose the inner thigh connection. Four more, three, Two, 
One, lower down, ready for the last set. Bring the arms and the legs both up together. Inhale, turn on the tummy, zip up the tummy, protect your lower back, exhale, float up, hold for four, three, two, one, release, two more times, inhale to prep, zip up the tummy, exhale, reach, hold, four, three, two, one, control to the mat one more time. Big inhalation to prepare, exhale. Reach it up. Are you higher than the first two? Squeezing higher, finding that range. Three, two, one. Lower down. Ooh, 30 minutes on the dot for our workout portion. Perfect. Finally got myself on time. Walk the hands in. Let's take the cobra stretch first so you can leave the hips down. Push the ribs and tummy up. Lower yourself to the elbows is your modified option. But that back work helped open up those hips. So you should be able to get a good stretch here. I'm feeling not stiff right now, which is very good. Those early stretches also helped us. Lift the hips, fold back to the heels, walk the hands forward, finish in child's pose. Let your back get a good stretch, relax the head down. Thank you so much for joining and I can see you again next week.